Hi, Tamara here, and have I got some great book picks for you. <gasps> A few books talked about quite quickly! Woo Woo uh -oh. Look, there they are! Talk about them quite quickly! Fans of fantasy and magic will want to put The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton at the top of their list. While there aren't any wizards in the story, we do have some comparisons. For instance, magical people are called marvelers, and non-magical people are fools. That's F-E-W-E-L-S and not F, well, you get it. There is a magical school located in the sky, and students travel there via sky fairies. Students even get a fancy invitation. Now, Ella Durant is from a magical family in New Orleans and is excited to have received her invitation. At the end of her first year at the Arcanum, she will discover her marvel and she'll be placed in one of the five paragons. The paragon of touch, vision, spirit, sound, or taste. Not everyone is in favor of Ella attending the Arcanum. Her family's magic is linked to the underworld and they are called conjurers. Though magical people from all over the world and from many cultures attend the Institute, Ella will be the first conjurer, and many are prejudiced against her before even meeting her. On the bright side, there are many wonders and adventures Ella and her friends will experience in their first year at the Arcanum. On the dark side, a notorious criminal has just escaped from an impenetrable prison, and Ella will be falsely accused at school. Will Ella make it through the school year and receive her marvel? A magical adventure awaits. The excitement continues with book two, The Memory Thieves, available September of 2023. Happy marveling, but watch out for the pixies. Ugh. Do you ever wish you had a superpower? The ability to fly or turn invisible? That would be so cool. Well, let me introduce you to Onyeka and the Academy of the Sun by Tola Okogwu. Onyeka has always felt insecure because she has a lot of hair. I mean, like, whoa. Some kids tease her and call her Yeti. But when her best friend almost drowns, Onyeka's hair takes on a life of its own and pulls her friend from the water. Onyeka's mother tells her the shocking truth. She is a Solari, one of a secret group of people unique to Nigeria with psychokinetic superpowers. Everything changes that night. Onyeka and her mother are on a plane heading to Nigeria. Onyeka is enrolled in the Academy of the Sun, where she trains to control her powers with her new superpower classmates. Then her mom disappears, and rebels attack the school. You might say it's like Black Panther meets X-Men. The breathtaking action continues with book two, Onyeka and the Rise of the Rebels. How about a hero story? Let's dive into Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms by Jamar Perry, filled with African-American folk heroes and West African gods. Cameron has warm memories of cuddling with his mom as a young child, reading the book of Chidani, cherishing the stories about the fabled kingdom that cut itself off from the world to save its people from danger. But two years ago, Cameron's parents disappeared, and his grandmother locked the book in the attic. Of course, this is no ordinary book, and it calls to Cameron and his friends, Zion and Aliyah. They should have known something was up when they saw the book glowing, and when they decide to open it, they are magically transformed into the kingdom of Chidani. Never trust a glowing book. Instead of a land of beauty and wonder, they find a kingdom in extreme danger as the queen sister seeks to destroy the barrier between the worlds. Their only hope is the awaited last, last descendant, descendant to return and save them. And wait, what? Is Cameron really this last descendant? <laughs> No way. I mean, what? Can he put his life, his friends' lives at risk trying to save this kingdom? I trust you'll find this adventure out of this world. And the challenges continue in book two, Cameron Battle and the Escape Trials, available in February. But if your book begins to glow, think before you open it. 
Care for a read that gives you a little chill? How about The Girl in the Lake by India Hill Brown? It sounds like the perfect summer vacation. Celeste and her brother Owen are joining their cousins for two weeks at their grandparents' lake house in the woods. Never mind that Celeste has failed her swim test and Owen is afraid of mountain lions and there are bugs in bed cell reception. Grandma and Grandpa are thrilled to have all the kids there and they have lots of activities planned. But soon, strange things start happening. Celeste's cousins accuse her of waking them in the middle of the night. Doors slam. Someone feels pushed when no one is around. And Celeste is having nightmares. There's a There's girl, a girl in, the in the lake. I hear I her at her night. night. She, looks she looks just, looks just like, like me. me. Sometimes, Sometimes I see, I see her, her in the mirror. mirror. There's, a There's a girl, girl in, the in the lake, and she, and she wants, wants to take me down there with her. With her. <laughs> Who is this girl in the mirror, and what does she want? When you've recovered from this book, try The Forgotten Girl by the same author. Let's wrap up our five and five with a graphic novel. Miles Morales, Shockwaves by Justin Reynolds and Pablo Leon. Superheroes with secret identities never have it easy. Miles Morales is a normal kid who happens to juggle school and family obligations while swinging through the streets of Brooklyn as Spider-Man. After a disastrous earthquake strikes his mother's birthplace of Puerto Rico, Miles the student springs into action to help set up a fundraiser for the devastated island. Meanwhile, a pair of criminals with surprising superpowers of their own elude Miles as Spider-Man. A mysterious glowing blue rock seems to tie everything together, but it will take the help of Miles' parents, his roommate, Ms. Marvel, Squirrel Girl, and the other Spider-Man, Peter Parker. You don't want to miss Miles' adventures in Shockwave. Happy reading!